This is David, WA901Y. Software Fine Radio will depend on the computer for the complete operation of the receiver. The computer here is a Raspberry Pi Model 4. Here's a 1B, a 2B, a 3B, a 3B Plus, and back to our Model 4. Capability, speed, functionality has all increased since 2013 when this was released. This came out in 2019 in the summer. One of the key specifications is that the amount of memory now is 4 gigabytes. This processor runs at 1.5 gigahertz has a USB 3 port, two of them, which is required on some SDR devices, has a gigabit Ethernet, has two USB 2 ports, still has an audio out jack, has two HDMI ports, the power port, general purpose port, in other words those are the pins there, we also have a Wi-Fi connection for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. We have an LCD type display if you wanted to make this a small uh, device without an HDMI. Also a camera port for connecting up to a camera. But for our purposes we're not going to be using these and the general purpose output port. Our fundamental focus will be taking the IQ data that's streaming from our SDR receiver and processing it. The advantage of the Raspberry Pi is that it's based on Debian, which is a very large installed base of Linux software. Debian came on board in the early 1990s. Linux came on board in about 1992. Debian took the Linux kernel, added it with the GNU software and the Athena MIT graphical user interface, commonly known as X11 now, and produced a Linux release. That Linux release has grown and one of its strong part was the package manager of distributing software. When we use this device we will use it with the Raspberry which is a variant of Debian. The nice thing is, is that it will be able to use the software package manager that's built into Debian and allow us to install software for the software defined radio using the standard install process. The other thing I want to do is I want to try these older versions and just see how the performance of the software defined radio is with our device here with less powerful computers, less memory, and of course less speed. So that will be an exciting experiment to undertake as we go through the process of documenting the experiments that I'm doing on Software Defined Radio and this playlist. This playlist is a YouTube list in which I'm making short YouTube videos of the different experiments. Normally I would be doing web pages, but in this case I'm going to be trying different YouTube videos documenting how I've set up the experiment or how I've learned how to do something like in GNU radio or how I've configured uh, GQRX to receive the signals on the SDR receiver and so forth. I invite you to take a look at the playlist. There's over 30 videos at this time. This is David, W901Y, 73 and QRT.